Anyone who's ever tried rendering volumetrics in Blender Cycles knows that it can be a pretty frustrating experience, or at least a pretty slow one. There's a shot in an older video of mine with a volumetric explosion in it which lasts for 15 frames out of about a 200 frame shot. And those 15 frames alone took longer to render than the rest of the shot combined. I'm talking hours per frame for something which actually isn't all that complex. So, after my last video where I tried out photorealistic rendering in Eevee for the first time, I thought I'd see just what it can do with volumetrics thrown into the mix. And I have to say I'm really impressed, it's just insanely fast. There's a massive amount of volumetric fog in this shot, with tons of light sources zipping all around it, all of them with proper volumetric shadows. And I was getting render times of literally seconds per frame. On top of that, it was ridiculously simple to set up. I had some teething problems at first as I was trying to use the world as a volume, which Eevee apparently didn't like very much. So I ended up setting up a massive cube to encompass the whole scene uh, with the volume material applied to it, which worked just fine. To create the swirling smoke effect, I just used the noise texture with four dimensions and the W time value animated, cranked up the detail and the distortion, and then plugged that into the density input with a color ramp used to modify the density exactly to how I wanted it. For the final render, I set the tile size in the volumetric settings to two pixels to give the highest detail possible, and turned on volumetric shadows, and then left pretty much everything else as just the default settings. The laser bolts are simply little cylinders with a very bright emission shader and a point light attached to them. And uh, these were in their own collection um, and I added a particle system set to chuck out a bunch of them uh, using the entire collection as an instance. I turned off gravity, gave them a really high velocity, a little bit of uh, randomness. And uh, the end result is pretty cool I think and a great example of just how powerful EV really is. Something that one of you guys actually pointed out is that you could use this in conjunction with Cycles to get the benefits of Cycles' full ray tracing ability with super fast volume rendering from Eevee. So, you could split all of your smoke effects or atmospherics into a separate scene, render that out in Eevee, and then comp it back into the main Cycles scene in post. That's something I'm definitely going to want to check out in future as volumetrics can quite literally add a huge amount of depth to your scene and being able to render smoke, fire and explosion super fast is just going to be really awesome to have. Lastly, I've just got to thank everyone who supported me on Patreon after the last video. I'm super grateful to you guys for helping to support the channel. We're already well on our way to being able to afford a capture card so I can record proper full-length tutorials for you guys. If you're interested in helping out, then you can check that out with the link below. Um, at the moment, if you pledge, you can get access to the models used in this video and the last one, and I'll be putting the project file from today's video up there as well, and uh, as we make more stuff, more stuff will be going up there. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe found it helpful. Anyway, take care, keep rendering, and I'll see you in the next video.